slight delay in rushing because I have a laser appointment. I started at a new laser place and yeah, it's kind of hard to explain why I'm starting a new laser place because I've talked about Satori laser in such high regard. I think they're great, but my um, laser tech ended up quitting and I don't really like their other techs. So when she quit and my, my sessions were kind of over after she quit, like on my last session, she was like, I'm just warning you that I won't be back. And then she quit and I was like, oh, well, I'm not coming back either. <laughs> I ended up getting a lot of hair like my, I ended up having a lot of hair removal. Like I saw the difference in my underarms. Like the hair pretty much doesn't grow back there. I do have to get a touch up before the summer because I see like little flurries coming in, but it's nothing that you would be able to see. Um, but I cannot say the same thing for my Brazilian area. My Brazilian area pretty much grew back. It like fully grew back. And I wouldn't say it was like fully, fully, but it's really not that big of a difference. So I'm hoping that I did my research on this woman. Her name is Monica. I'm hoping that she will be able to remove it because people say in the comments that she's so good. And you have to really find people that can also do ethnic hair. And um, I felt like my last tech was good with ethnic hair. I don't feel like the other techs are Satori at the location that I went to. And I could tell you the location because I'm not going back there, but I went to the one um, close to the World Trade Center by Maiden Lane. So that location. I don't think they're great with ethnic people, but my opinion. So, I will need to get a lash lift soon. This is really getting up. I say it in every vlog, I still haven't done it. Um, but anyway, I'm just simple all black today. What is new? Guys, I don't know. Why do I even do outfit things? I want some lip balm and I need to go. My appointment is at 2.15. And it is in Manhattan. And I am in Brooklyn acting a damn fool. And it's almost a quarter to one. <laughs> I don't want to be late because I know she gets booked up really quickly and actually somebody wanted my appointment because I forgot to confirm yesterday on time and she called me and she's like somebody wants your appointment do you want me to reschedule I'm like hell no I had to do so much work just for this appointment I need to I need to put on a necklace or something my neck looks so bare I don't have the time I don't have it in me today change my bag this is the bag I've been wearing to work this week and it actually is so spacious and so nice it's from Michael Kors okay I think I'm just gonna use this one it's the only like small bag I have that holds my camera as well and I've got to film this laser experience because I kid you not I have not had laser in a minute because obviously haven't really needed to get it and ooh, where's my other earring I gotta put these two together because I will lose that that's from Missouri it's very expensive I haven't had laser in a minute so I kind of forgot how it feels and I know it's gonna hurt it does not allow you to get numbing cream so she doesn't believe in it. She thinks it, it disrupts. It like causes a barrier between the skin, obviously, so you don't feel pain. But it disrupts the true process of laser hair removal. Listen, this lady is like so hardcore with this stuff. Let me just take my supplement really quick. So, yeah, she doesn't really believe in that. Oh, guys, remember last time I saw my activated charcoal? I bought it. Yeah, she doesn't really believe in it, and um, I was just like, oh shit, well, if you don't believe in it, <laughs> I'm screwed, because that's what I believed in for the longest time, was the numbing cream, and that's probably why it didn't take, because I only use numbing cream in my Brazilian area, I never use it with my underarm, and my underarm is completely, for the most part, bare still, and I hadn't gotten laser in three or four months, so I think what she's saying, obviously she's a professional, she would know it, but I, I, I do believe it's true. I believe the numbing stuff disrupts the process. It'll take at least an hour and a half for me to get to the city. Ugh. I have a call a lift right now. It's a quarter to one. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me today because I am also gonna run some errands as well throughout the city. I wanna see if I can get a knife set. 
because last time when I thought I was gonna have the apartment that was one thing that I was like oh my god I have to buy that I don't have knives and then I got like a 20% off thing from Bed Bath and & Beyond and beyond yes Bed Bath & Beyond so we might go over there I need to get some removal for my well nail polish removal not for these nails they just got done but just I'm running out all right I will see you guys when I get there with Monica I am at laser Monica gave me a stress ball. She she just saw my face when I walked in. Guys, I haven't gotten lazy in a long time. Look at the machines. Mmm. Lord. Let me get under this little blanket thing. Woo! This is gonna be a shit show. Should be more positive, but honestly. Mm, I don't wanna be. <laughs> This is no damn joke. Brazilians are no joke. And I've had nine. <sighs> Why women are just, we gotta do too much. We gotta do too much. you guys might be seeing it might have seemed like I went to laser and then now I'm back but no actually did a whole world damn tour so <laughs> I went to veggie grill it was really yummy because of intermittent fasting I feel like I'm not able to keep food down anymore I just literally took two bites of my meal and then that was kind of it oh when I get my breast reduction, mm. I just keep talking about it, but hoping one day I will have good news. I also went, that's the wrong side, <laughs> I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and got some stuff for the apartment. So, they had a sale on this automatic wine opener, it was like $5. I was like, well if it's shit, I only lost $5 and I'll just buy like a really quality one, but it's from the brand Our Table and I was like, oh! I'm the wine connoisseur. Yeah, I got this huge Pyrex um, measuring cup from Anchor. I love the Pyrex stuff. They last so long. And this goes up to 32 ounces. So this is great. Also, can use it in the microwave and the oven if you need to. Let me tell you guys prices. Because people like, apparently that's super helpful. So that was five dollars and forty nine cents. I had a coupon that I used that took ten dollars off the transaction. So my total ended up being twenty nine for everything that I'm gonna show you. Um, the whisks. I just needed some whisks. I it's little things like this that obviously living at home you don't think about because it's like your mom will have some whisks. You know what I mean? But then when you live by yourself, you're like, oh shoot, like I need to. So I got this set. This set went down to four dollars and 12 cents so yeah set of three and i felt like these whisks were still kind of sorry this is better this like still on the skinnier side so i got me some black whisks as well uh it just came in a set of two these went down to six dollars and 19 cents but this is the reason i got that whisk because this one the head of it is like super big as you can see and this is good for like um making pancakes, um, any like big batters, this is good. And then I just came with an additional little one. And these ones are silicone. I got these, cause these were also on the $5 sale thing. But because I have the coupon, everything that I got for $5 ended up being $3.44. So I got one, two, three, six of these bar mop dishcloths. These are great for just dying, drying off your dishes. like. I always hand wash dishes, it just preserves the dishes, and I actually find hand washing things to be like super therapeutic, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, my family would never use a dishwasher, ever. It may be a Caribbean thing. Yeah, kind of wash everything by hand, and then you dry them up and put them away, and we always use, my parents always use paper towels, but I'm trying to like not be so single use, you know, like 
to be a little bit more earth conscious. So I bought these dishcloths to dry them off when I do my dishes. And you can just machine wash them and then you don't have to waste so much paper. This I didn't get from Bed Bath & Beyond, but I got another soak off because mine is running low for my gel. And then I got from there a Scrub Daddy. My sister introduced me to Scrub Daddy and I love Scrub Daddy, highly recommend Scrub Daddy. They last so long, they're like my favorite sponge to use ever. It says America's favorite sponge and it's actually dead true. And the one that we had was the original one, which doesn't have a scent, but this one is the Lemon Fresh. And I just love the way lemon smells. Anything kitchen-y, I just think of lemons. It just smells so fresh and clean and nice. So I got this one. I love Scrub Daddy. Two bucks. So that was that little mini Bed Bath & Beyond. I actually went there for knives and I didn't even get the damn knives because uh, they had the knives there, but it was so heavy. I was like, I don't want to carry this all the way home, transportation, walking, all of that stuff. So I just said I will go home and order the knives and I have two other coupons from them that I can use. Bed Bath & Beyond is such, it comes in clutch. It has the best stuff in terms of like, you get really nice quality things and then they always, always, always have sales and coupons that you can use. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I did actually get an order from downstairs of my bag, my new bag. I think it's here, so I think I'm gonna grab that and show that to you guys. Okay, I got it. So, I didn't even tell you guys how laser went while I open this. I'll explain it to you a little bit. First of all, such a good experience. I will say that you can tell pretty quickly um, the difference between a cheap laser company and then what I experienced today, which what I experienced today was like crazy. It hurt. It hurt like any other laser, but it was like a different pain. It was more tolerable. I felt like the hairs were really, I don't know. If you're a laser person, you'll understand what I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, I definitely feel like I... Even though it's way more expensive, like it's $150 per session. That is a lot of money. Um, I still felt like it was worth it. Like I left there feeling like I, I, I got my money's worth. You know, the hair is not going to grow back right away. And I never felt like that with Satori. I always felt like I'd have to continue and continue and continue. So I like that I have one tech. It's her own business. I'm always going to have her. And yeah, I'm going to get other parts of my body done, I'm sure. But... Uh, she's just amazing. I think you could just tell when you vibe with someone. She gives me the feeling that my old tech gave me. Anyway, this is the bag. It's in this beautiful corduroy brown. How stunning is that? I love it. It just feels so smooth and so nice. So yeah, it also has that like Kelly Birkin-ish type of look, except this one doesn't come with a key. Um, I don't think it does at least, or maybe it came off. I don't know. I don't think it comes with a key because it doesn't have a, a key clochette or whatever on it either. So I think that that's just the style. Like how cute is that with like especially this is going to look so good with like my monochrome outfits, my beiges and my linens and my, you know, it's just beautiful. I don't own anything in this type of texture or color. Oh, uh, that looks so good. This is also another one of them that can go cross body. Oh, it does have the clochette. They could in separate parts. So that's the key in your clochette thing. Um, so yeah, you can hang that off of this as well. Okay, I'm wondering. I thought I saw in the picture, but I wasn't 100% sure. Handle. There's like no artificial smell or anything. Like it's really good quality. This one looks so, like I feel like it has more length than the yeah, this length is really long. How cute is this with like my all black outfit? So nice. I love it. I cannot wait to go back on that site and buy some more stuff. I can't wait to see what their new seasons have. But yeah, it's beautiful. I would shorten the strap a little bit because I'm 5'5 five five and I think it's too low. It might not look like it's too low on camera, but in person, it looks kind of long for me. Very pretty. I can see this being a really nice bag for fall, uh, spring, summer, winter. I mean, you kind of go, you know, anything to be quite honest with you. It has a little feet as well so that your 
that I can sit pretty. Happy with that. That was a today was a pretty successful like day. I felt like I got everything done that I wanted to get done. It takes a lot out of me to get myself to go outside these days, but I always feel better when I do. So this is just your um, reminder to get some fresh air and go do something. It doesn't have to be spending a lot of money, but you know, if you just get yourself some ice cream or something that could like brighten up your whole day and just make your mood feel like a little bit more, you know, it's just the little things in life and I'm happy that I've learned that. Valentine's Day guys it is Valentine's Day today and uh, yeah just regular day for me really because I'm not in a relationship but uh, happy love day to all the lovers out there hope you guys are enjoying your day Valentine's Day is fun but you know you should be showing love to the person you love every single day not just one day a damn year okay but yeah I was working from home today which was great um, my dad actually got me some roses which he has been doing the last couple of years every single year um, he gets me something so I got roses and chocolate this morning for my dad so my forever Valentine hooked me up you know which is good so I just changed those out and yeah my room is now officially covered in roses and plants and just everywhere, I love it so much. I applied for an apartment, another one, so hopefully this one works out to be better. The location, the way the apartment layout is and everything is already so much better than the one that didn't work out. So I will keep you guys posted with that. I'm sure if anything ends up happening going through with that, you will know and then the fun shall begin. But for now, I have to finish a couple emails for work because I am due to be off, but I, you know, the day was really filled up with meetings, so I didn't really get as much done today with my own personal work as I wanted to get done. So I'm going to be working a little bit overtime today uh, just to finish some things up because tomorrow we have a big executive meeting and I do the notes for that. So I just want to make sure I got everything down. That's one. Two, I would love to wash my hair today, but I'm going to assume it's, it'll be tomorrow. I was going to go grocery shopping today as well, but I'm assuming that will be Wednesday. Uh, I just started Noom, so... If you guys don't know what Noom is, look it up. It, I am not sponsored by them, um, but it definitely was. I, I definitely learned about it through a sponsored uh, vlog that I watched, I believe. Uh, was it Martha? I'm doing the free trial right now, but I really love it. I, I feel like it will work for me because I realized that my main problem is not what I eat, but how much of it I eat. So I have a really big portion control issue. I have no portion control. Like, I just, you give me a whole bag of Cheetos, I'm gonna eat the whole bag until I feel sick. And chronic binge eater, maybe even, I don't like to talk about these things on here because it's triggering for some people. So, I don't wanna label myself as something, but I definitely know for sure I don't have portion control. And that's why I started Noom. And I've already on my first day, and they give you like so much like uh, material to read as well, and just like the mind. I think what's different between this program and like let's say Weight Watchers is that it focuses very much on the psychology of why you do the, way, the things that you do and that was something I didn't uh, ever really attack was like my mind and changing my mindset on food and how I eat will help the weight loss thing on its own versus just changing out to eating healthier foods you know what I mean right now I just focused on strictly diet plan so I didn't put any exercise within my noon plan but I feel like when I do do that on my own time it's gonna accelerate the process so hopefully you know if I do everything I have to do that will be the case noom is really expensive so uh, depending on who you are I'm in a six month plan for some people it's three months for some people it's a year depending on how much you want to lose your current body weight stuff like that for me they figured based off of everything I put that I'd be able to get to my weight in six months which is crazy um but I believe it. I've seen some six-month transformations and they're insane. I'm currently purging. My skin is just very, very, very raised. Lots of pimples because I have on my second day of the activated charcoal. I'm taking this one from Nature's Answer. I only really eat, use this when I eat something bad. So if I'm having like a really heavy wine night or 
uh, have pizza or something like that that's more in the red food zone on noom which you'll learn about red green yellow like what foods are what um then i will have this because this promotes detoxification and waste elimination of those toxins basically and these ones are pretty intense uh, i think on my second day i well i'm on my third day now i haven't taken them yet but on my second day i already had purged my skin so much this morning was just trying to get everything out so that definitely works so i just wanted to pop it and say hello really quick for valentine's day um yeah i just feel you're gonna be paying for food honey if it's one bite take it i didn't show this to you guys yesterday but this is this is atrocious actually this is the other piece of my sandwich from veggie grill because i went to veggie grill yesterday and remember i said i'd never been there before and i was so full from the fries alone but it hurt my heart i said i paid for it i can't leave it so I'm, i don't think that you should keep things like this up because they're not the same right burgers but this is a veggie burger so i'm wondering i don't know the air fryer's on i just put everything in the air fryer right now so i'm at an air fryer phase this one I couldn't tell you the last time I used a stove, to be quite honest. I found a brioche bun. Maybe I should research if you can put brioche buns in an air fryer. But the point is we're not wasting food anymore. People are dying in Afghanistan. They're starting. Like, no. I'm gonna look it up and do a little research and tell you what you said. It says 320 degrees Fahrenheit. I can reheat a brioche. So let me see if this tastes nice. I'm just afraid of like the little veggie stuff on it. Veggies can be air fried, so it will taste nice. It, huh? Veggies can be air fried. Oh, so we lit. Mm -hmm. Ha! Okay, I put it at three minutes. We don't need that much time. We need like one minute. I got the buffalo chicken, chicken burger, which I it was really good. And then I had a ginger beer and I had um, thick cut fries. Those are good too. And that was my first time having it. Okay. Getting somewhere. Ooh. It's toasty. It's crisp. It's still like. Guys, this air fryer. You need to get it by instant. Oh, it's toasty. It's by instant. It's the instant air fryer. The Vortex Plus one. Highly recommend. So let's try this. Cheers. Mm-hmm. It's nice. The veggie part is still cold. So that's not very nice. But the chicken part is very nice. I might rub, rub that veggie stuff off. Super Bowl tonight. Who are you guys rooting for? Let me know in the comments. Won't matter anyway, but I just want to put this up. They would have already won or not. So I'm gonna watch it with dad. He's my only um my only sports friend in the house. So go to Veggie Girl. It's really yummy. Okay, just got out of work. It has been a long, exhausting day. I figured I could fix all of that with a little bit of a retail therapy. So I'm going to the Fendi store. If I could freaking find it, that'd be great. So I'm going to ask some directions now because I've been walking around for like the last two hours. Not, no, it really hasn't been that long, but still. Hi, quick question. Do you know where the Fendi store is? Fendi? Yeah. Oh, so I was walking around here looking crazy and it was right there. <laughs> no, yeah, I should have. I was literally, I don't know why I didn't do that. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I passed this door apparently. I couldn't even tell you how many times, to be quite honest. I'm guessing it's this one. First floor. There was a pair of shades that I saw on the website uh, for the new season that I really, really liked and really fits my palette. So I figured, treat myself a little. I've been so stressed out lately. And then any excuse to like go shopping. <laughs> then maybe I can get a boba. Then maybe we can go home. And I can fill you guys in on what's been going up because I have some apartment updates, but also I <laughs> just, I can't win in this life apparently. So we'll talk more about that later. Right now we're having fun and we're not gonna talk about the apartment. Because the apartment is not fun.
Fendi. I just bought what I'm going to buy two frames. I was supposed to buy one. I'm buying two now because I have no self-control and it's a problem. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. I need, I, need, I need to talk to somebody. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are all set. <laughs> I'm going to head home and I will show you guys what I purchased when I get home. Bye. because yeah I was over it I will say that wigs like the stocking caps these will totally rip your edges out so what I do is I put the stocking cap on half and then I take one of these bands the wig grips and I'll like put her hair over my edges push it back a little bit more and it just, my edges have grown so much. And I always said to you guys, if you go look back in other vlogs, that I felt like I had no edges. And I realized it's because I was ripping them out. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Fendi. I made two Fendi purchases. I went in and I do this all the time. I went in completely with the idea of getting the one, um, the one <laughs> glasses and ended up with two because the sales associates are really good at their jobs and they convinced me otherwise but no all jokes aside shout out to peggy at the hudson yards fendi she is the best i highly recommend you go check her out uh she is so fun and such a good person and i love her and i will always shop with her as long as she's still working there but this is so yeah i also just want to preface by saying um I am really big on slow fashion on this channel and there are a lot of things that I buy in the luxury world secondhand but there are a lot of things that I'm mostly gonna buy full price with my money and it's my money so shut up I don't want to hear it don't care not that any of you say anything the regulars but I know somebody there's been a couple of slick comments on my channel and I deleted them and if you want to add yourself to the list of deleted you can do as you please I'm not gonna answer you so this is my receipt which I signed Maybe I shouldn't say how much I paid for it because if I don't say it out loud, it's not real. <laughs> you know what? It's worth it. I wear the crap out of my Celine's and I don't have any other luxury sunglasses. So I thought I'd add some to the collection. First Fendi purchase ever. And I actually do think I'll be back around August when it's my birthday to uh, buy a bag that I saw today that I really feel like I'm going to save up for because I love it so much. And I it just it's just so cute. One thing is I love the fendi glasses pouches they're so cute look at that they have like a little thing so you can just attach it to your bags on the inside and i just like the way they look and feel they're like a puffer coat it's so nice everybody knows my favorite um designer brand it's prada in case you didn't know and you're new to the channel prada is like my ride or die i love prada um but fendi is I think their stuff is really cool. So what do you get in this little pouch, which is so soft on the inside. Um, so it just has the product description. This card is, I'm guessing, authenticity. Yep. Um, a little thing to just wipe your glasses with. It matches the colors there are three colors in this colorway so i got the black and yellow you'll see the other color i got black and white and then i got there's a black and like a off-white cream color and then this is just like i guess some care instructions and stuff like that the first glasses i bought is what i went to the store for so i got what i went to the store for um they weren't badly priced in my opinion and they are these beautiful tan sunglasses in a square they're like a cat eye right but if you look closely there's like this outlining which is like a clear outlining so it's like a cat eye within a square frame glasses and then they have the hardware in gold just says fendi so i'm gonna try this one on for you as i said this was the reason i went to the store i just thought this would look really nice with my brown moments my nudes you guys know i wear a lot of nude white and uh, those kind of colors so I thought that I would purchase some frames like that and this is how they look 
there is a good amount of shading on them so it actually has taken away quite a lot of color so i could imagine the summer these would be really really nice i just love the way they look i think they're so beautiful such a nice unique uh kind of shaping i also know that they have uh make you get a better look at them i know they also have a similar one that's like a little bit is it even cheaper i don't even think it's that much cheaper but jacques mousse makes one that's like a rectangle like this and it's really nice i know that people are gonna be like oh you could have bought that anywhere um these glasses are made really well and i learned with my celine's because i remember when i bought my celine's my sister was like you could buy those Celine's anywhere. Like you could, you can go to any store and get that shape that kind of looks like it. I think she honestly said that looked like something you bought on Fashion Nova. And it is my most, I think, worn and complimented pair of classic Celine sunglasses. And they do not look like something that could be replicated by any fast fashion site. I do not support fast fashion for a number of reasons, ethical, things like that. To somebody looking at this video, they're probably like, oh, that looks like a regular glasses. Anybody could have bought that. That's your opinion. Like, my opinion is that they are extremely well made. They are very unique. And I like them. And I'm wearing them. So it's okay. It's not for everybody. There is obviously an element of you paying for the name that's with any designer brand so you do pay for the Fendi on the side too let's be real even if you went and bought this uh in a glasses store you're still paying for that but sunglasses especially with the season coming up spring and summer just literally change my looks i rely so heavily on jewelry and accessories i put a lot of money into sunglasses earrings bags more than i do into buying designer clothing i don't own uh the only designer clothing that I own is like a couple pieces of ready to wear like pants and shirts and stuff and if you guys watch my closet clean out video linked at the eye you'll see some of the pieces individually that I point out and then the other thing is I have like a really nice blazer from Mugler but I don't own any other designer clothing besides that and I don't think I need to and what makes me look put together and a little bit more expensive if you'd say is these things these little jewelries and touches and like little stuff like that that's what I feel like you should invest your money in bags glasses jewelry and chill out with the clothes <laughs> the the sweaters that say balenciaga all over it and shit that's not ain't gonna make you look that stylish and that's just me being me the next one is crazy i feel like it's also a fun piece but it can be extremely chic if you want it to be and that's what i love about that piece i think these are also great for um pictures and stuff too if you are into making your instagram very aesthetic i like aesthetic looking things so I tend to be a little more aesthetic <laughs> with my choices. This one was an ex exaggerated cat eye. And I have a really amazing cat eye sunglasses that I got from Ray-Ban. And I will link those below. I've linked them below before on the channel. And those ones were a little bit under $200. And those are such good quality. They look stunning on my face and stuff like that. So you can start off with like smaller brands if you don't want to put all of your money into something right away. But I never really regret... Ugh, regret my designer sunglasses purchases i just don't so the good thing about this stuff is some of these things are only here for the season like these brown ones she didn't have in stock and then as i was getting ready to leave the store the shipment came in and she said hold on we don't know what the shipment is and it was only one of these left and then i got it so now right now if someone's going to hudson yards to get that there is no more in the store for the day and they don't get shipments every day they get them bi-weekly maybe once a month and when the season's done the season's done so these are like a beautiful exaggerated cat eye just taking the plastics off um these are how they look they're very slim and i love that you just have the zuka print the regular fendi zuka print on the side i didn't i wasn't really i i love thick sided glasses and this was the first one that was a thin metal side that i liked i never really liked those kind of glasses before so i tried these on and it was really beautiful on my face i'll put them on for you guys now and i like it specifically with my hair down for these ones but oh sorry these are how they look so you see how these just go it's kind of like someone's pulling you by them and just pulling you up pulling you up and they are beautiful i just love these 
I just feel like they are just going to be a classic pair for the summer, the winter. The same thing with these, we were talking about it, me and um, Peggy. We were talking about that the two pieces I'm picking, you can kind of wear all year round. I don't really see this all the time type of cat eye. You usually see like a more refined one. If I can get my cat eye glasses from Ray-Ban, maybe I can show you. So these are my Ray-Ban ones. These ones are just more like a normal cat eye. They're not really big and exaggerated and like super like luxurious and fabulous and out there. They're just like a nice standard. But when you're having like a standard type of day, you're gonna run a quick errand and stuff like that. You don't wanna be exaggerated. These are like my go-to favorite things to wear and I just love them so much. And they have their own, you know, it's like cat eye having cat eye glasses. There's different types of cat eyes. You have ones with squares. You have like super pointy like these ones. You have ones that are like cat eyes, but they're like completely round. Like having different pairs of glasses go with different things. And these sunglasses that I've noticed so far is they are very, very shaded. And I know I'm indoors. When you're outdoors, it's probably amazing. But indoors, these will be the kind of glasses that when you're inside, you're going to have to put up because you can't. It just distorts color like you it is very shaded like sun is not getting in these whereas i feel like my celine's are the same but it's a little more muted and i would maybe say that celine's is maybe in terms of shading done a little bit better more high quality um it's not as harsh of a shading as fendi is like celine's is kind of a gradient it's really if you're a celine person it's really beautiful and i saw a woman this morning on the bus i take to work with her celine shades on i think they're a new season one and they were so stunning um, and you could just see the shading reflecting through her. It was just beautiful. So Celine kills shading. That's why I invested in a Celine pair because I just think the shading is exceptional. Um, Fendi, I think Fendi kills design. I like the things they come out with. There wasn't a lot of Celines that I liked. I feel like I always liked the classic Celines. I didn't like things that were season by season. And I feel like every season when Fendi comes out with glasses, I'm like, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. It's just, they're so creative, they're fun. So if you're a fun person, I would say go more Fendi and if you are a classic chic person I would say go more Celine you won't be disappointed if you are like me get everything because <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need one or the other so I don't like to um pigeonhole myself but yeah tell me what you guys think of my new purchases I really really love them I can't wait for summer to come to get my full wear out of them I will be wearing them probably for as long as I'm alive. It's just another brand I get to check off my list that I didn't get to check off before. Um, so yeah, I knew this was supposed to be kind of an awareness vlog and I'm sorry about that. I've just been so busy and just trying to figure out the next steps of like my life with the apartment stuff and everything like that. Um, I did get approved for an apartment. I ended up accepting the approval I they sent me a lease where they were supposed to send me a lease and uh, they ended up saying oh we're gonna send you the lease they didn't send it and the next day I inquired and they told me that they had bad news that they had accidentally given the apartment away already and accepted another lease so I lost the apartment and I have not found anything in that price range or with that amount of closet space and kitchen space and living room space since I lost that one so I actually was just talking to my mom downstairs that I am hanging up the towel with the apartment um, until maybe summer, end of summer. The prices now are just too inflated. Um, everybody's starting to get their moves in before summer starts or for the summer. I just don't want to deal with that competition. So if something comes up, I'm still kind of searching here or there, but I'm not searching as much as I was searching before where I was like on Street Easy and all these websites like every single day. I'm not doing that as of right now. I am just making sure I kind of am financially have my stuff together, just keep increasing my savings, uh, chilling out. As I said, I'm not being pushed out, I'm choosing to leave, and yeah, I want to make sure that if I'm signing a lease for something for a year, uh, that I enjoy my year. And I have not found a place that I think is worth the money that they're asking for right now. It's just crazy, crazy times. So I want to do things really financially smart. I'm just over the apartment thing. It's really been stressing me out. I've been breaking out. I've been exhausted. I've been crying. Literally, I cried like three times this week. It's just not good for my mental health anymore. I'm over it. I can't catch a freaking break. Every time I find something, it's gone or something happened or somebody took it. It's just too many things all the time. 
and it's just more of it's I just honestly sincerely think I'm forcing it and it's just not my time right now uh, and I think maybe in even three or four months something could be different we'll see what happens so I just thought I'd update you guys because I know I started the series and I really kind of hoped that I would have had something by now and to think that I almost did and it was so close I could have touched it like literally all they need to do is sign my lease or send me my lease and I would have signed it literally right then and there we would have been good to go to get that bad news was so heartbreaking and I'm just trying to tell myself things do not happen to you and this is for you guys in the back that aren't listening to me right now hear this when things happen in your life they do not happen to you they happen for you I don't know what bullet I dodged <laughs> I will probably never know but uh it was happening for me for the greater good of wherever i am supposed to be so yes that's an update uh sad but i'm letting it go but thank you guys so much for watching um i will see you in the next one i kind of want to get back on my vlogging stuff and be a little more creative it's been kind of been slacking so we'll see what i come up with i have a lot of things i could probably film but we'll see what i yeah Thank you. I love you. I'll see you next video. Subscribe. Comment. Bye. <laughs>